Hello. Welcome to Twisted Tree. So uh, I'm going to do a little quick video and show you how we have set up her paddle board uh, for fishing. In some of our other videos, we are now in possession of a paddle board that uh, is geared for fishing. It has gear tracks on it and tie downs and all of the things that you need. And so um, the board came without any of that stuff, I didn't, without any of the attachments uh, and the accessories. So we, uh, we had to order that stuff. And it finally all came in and I set it up today. And uh, I just wanted to walk you through it and show you what we've done. And, and um, it's now ready to go. She's, she's ready to go fishing. So without, uh, without further ado, here it is. What I've done is I've set the board up on a, just a folding table here in the garage. So I have it up off the ground so I can work on it. And uh, the things that I've added, uh, the first thing I added was the bungees here and then at the back, uh, which I'll show you in a minute. The second thing we added was this paddle clip. It's just two rollers and it slides into this gear track, which you can see right here. There's a slot here, it goes in and then it just screws on and that holds a paddle. The next thing is we bought her a, a cooler that has rod holders on it, but it also has these little straps right here. Or actually it has the holders, I bought the straps. And then, of course, we had to, let me show you, these, I guess they're slot loops or maybe half D rings. But as you can see, get the camera to focus. Same scenario, they go in here, they slide in, and then they screw down and tighten up. And that gives you something to strap the cooler to the board. And this cooler, like I said, it comes with rod holders, but also, it, it comes with these little trays that sit in the top, and they're just dry storage. So your drinks and whatnot can go down to the bottom and you get these two trays for tackle or whatever. I mean, you should use it for whatever she wants, so it works like that. I'm back up this thing so you can see it. And we've actually used this cooler now on a couple of our trips, and uh, my hat's off. Yeah, it, it, uh, it works really well. So then moving on back towards the back of the board, I put these bungees on, and this is a big bungee loop here, as you can see, and this is her life vest. This is her anchor, and originally I was gonna try to get her a, just an eye that she could clip into. Um, we ordered one, but the stud that comes up was not long enough for the gear track plus this foam pad. So I have to get an eye, it'll work, but I've got to get an eye bolt basically that has a longer shaft than what came. But in the meantime, she can just take her, her anchor and clip it into that loop and toss it out. It comes with a little float, so if, it, if she misses the clip or if it comes undone, she won't lose her anchor. So there it is from the stern. And then the same thing for the tie down on the on the uh, cooler on the other side. And we move back up to the paddle. And there it is. So when you buy one of these sick boards, SIC, um, this one is the big fish. It is designed for fishing. It's a big board. It's 12 feet long and 34 inches wide. When you buy one of these boards, um, you don't get anything with it. You don't get your leash. You don't get your um, paddle, fin. They do, they do send a fin. You, you do get a fin. Um, 
But all the rest of the stuff, you, know, you gotta go out and find it. And so what we did was we watched videos on YouTube, saw what people were using, this type of cooler, found the company, ordered it. And then as far as the attachments, the paddle holder, the cooler holder, that sort of thing, we found that um, by calling uh, the people who sold us the board and they recommended this company. And it works fine, it's awesome. So we can't wait to get it back in the water and let her start casting off of it and see if she can't um, catch a few fish with it. So there it is. The SIC Big Fish 12.0. So it's just a quick little walkthrough of the paddle board now that it's ready uh, to go and for her to fish off of it. Um, the one thing that I don't have yet that we're still looking for is a holder that will accommodate a fly rod. Um, the company that sells the other attachments, they have a couple of rod holders, but I can't tell from the description if it'll actually hold a fly rod. So that's something that we're looking for. Um, of course, she can use her spinning rods and they'll stand up in the rod holders that are, that, are, that are attached to the cooler. But, you know, one of these things like this is kind of like owning that kayak that you can see hanging behind me right there. Um, it's nonstop. You work on it all the time. It's like owning a Jeep. Um, there's enough aftermarket stuff for these things that it's incredible. Um, and you can continually add to it and dressing it out and gearing it out the way you want it. So it finally does what exa exactly what you want it to do. But I just thought I would give a quick walkthrough and show how we have set up her board. It's now ready um, to go fishing. And she's ready. Um, you can tell by the previous videos. That's what she's been wanting. So we've got it all ready to go. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you like our videos, please hit the subscribe button. Uh, let us build a presence here on YouTube. And um, we'll keep making them and putting them out there for you to view. Thank you very much.